Time to redo the shelves. All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Zach with Zach's Books, and today we are redoing my Stephen King shelves. Uh, I have got a stack of books here to my left, your right, um, which I'm pretty sure have probably been in previous videos, um, of some King books that I've gotten a lot of lately. Yay. And so my goal is to do an unhaul, rehaul, shelf redo. That sounds right. So we're going to roll with that. So it's an unhaul, haul, redo shelves type You're getting video. rid of a lot of Stephen King books, Yeah, basically. so I'm going through. I'm going to pick Stephen King books I no longer want. Um, or if I have multiple copies, this does not mean that I'm not a Stephen King fan. It is just um, realization has dawned upon me. And so pretty much what I'm going to do is I'm going to list them on Pango, which will have uh, Danielle's Pango listed down below. Because we're all going to list everything on her Pango account. She's got some stuff. And now we're going to be adding some Stephen King stuff. So, yeah. We're pretty much going to be doing that today. I'm going to be listening to The Chain by Adrian McKinty. And we are going to be doing that while I do this. So, uh, Danielle's channel is listed down below. Check her out. Subscribe. And then there's the Zach Sports channel. Check it out down below. Subscribe. Also, I'm getting close to 4,000 subscribers on this channel. If you are watching this and you're not subscribed, what are you doing? You should be subbed. Yeah, I'll also do some updates with the chain as well. Because um, Danielle's doing a reading vlog with it. I don't think I will be, but I am going to be doing this instead. So, yay. Um, but yeah, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and let's start moving my shelves. Alright, so we are now going to be starting the chain. Adrian McKinty. Still can't say his name right. Sorry, Adrian. Um, so yeah, let's start moving some books. This is one. A chef boy by Adrian McKinty, read by Jen Royal Boy. There is some wisdom to be had in taking the gloomy view and looking upon the world as a kind of hell. Arthur Schopenhauer, Aruba and Carl Palmer, 1851. We must never break the chain. <laughs> Yeah, there's quite a bit on that cart right now, and I'm not even done with the second row of shelves. So, uh, I am parting ways with a lot of books. I'm still a big Stephen King fan. Don't, yeah, so. Just means my next collection is going to be a shorter video. Yay! Um, so yeah, pretty much I am, got, I am on chapter 9 in the chain. Pretty much what has happened thus far is... 
the main antagonist woman we were following, I cannot remember her name, her daughter Kylie was just kidnapped. She got a phone call saying, hey, you're part of the chain now. You need to get money and you got to get, you got to pretty much, you got to get a kid. Um, she is a cancer survivor, but she could possibly have it again, I think, based off of what the doctor was saying before she hung up on him. Um, but yeah, no, she pretty much has been informed that her daughter was kidnapped and that they, she needs to pretty much get money. Otherwise, kid's going to die and chain's going to get restarted with somebody different. Um, but yeah, no, I'm enjoying it so far. Uh, again, Danielle's going to be starting it. I don't know if she started it yet, but trying not to spoil anything. Um, she is behind the camera, so got to keep the update short so I don't ruin anything for her. So, But we're going to keep going with these shelves. I've got three more shelves to go and probably another... I don't know how much more I can fit on here, but do what I can. But again, check out the Pango, because we're going to be having these on there. And we're going to sell them. Um, don't expect any of these to be first editions, because I'm, I'm keeping those. But the other editions and stuff I'm going to be parting with. So, yeah, keep an eye out for these on Pango. And let's get back to the chain. <laughs> So I have not finished yet, but I have come close. I'm getting there. So I got to chapter 15 in the book. I am still really enjoying it. Um, pretty much what's going on is the mother now needs to capture another child. And that's kind of how the chain works. You capture a child and it releases your child or it's some some sort of thing like that. Um, at least that's my understanding. If you fail, the kid dies and you die. So she's being watched by somebody or something. Um, she's starting to think it could be... She's being watched through like her phone or she's being watched through... Being watched through something. And so she's getting really on edge with a lot of stuff and... She's just bought herself a gun, she's trying to protect herself, and now she has to go and capture somebody else's child. And I'm really liking the book. I'm thoroughly enjoying it. I really am. Um, I don't know where it's going to go. Uh, obviously, I hope she... I mean, you don't hope she captures another kid, but... In order to save her kid, she's going to have to. So hopefully she does, and hopefully her daughter Kylie can be saved and rescued. But I don't know how it's going to go. I still got a decent amount left. So we're going to keep going with these shelves. Hopefully I can get them done soon. And then I can uh, give you one final 
thought before we end the video. So I took off two older companion novels. It's looking good. Yeah, the cart is getting full. It's I mean, I got the whole bottom shelf, but it's starting to add up, so make sure y'all look at your pangos. Look for some Stephen King books. They might not all be listed right away, but it'll be coming. Yeah, well, you'll see them eventually. So, but yeah, no, I've got one row and half, so we'll keep on trucking along here. Okay, so I cleared off basically two and a half shelves worth of books that we are going to be putting onto Pango. Um, uh, but yeah, no, I don't know the exact number of books I've got on here, but I've got a good chunk on here. So, a couple there of, are a lot. A couple of hardcovers, a couple of paperbacks, signet editions that are kind of, I'm not going to say rare, but hardish to find. So. Um, there were a couple that I did want to get rid of, but they're still sold at Barnes & Noble. So I didn't really see a point in getting rid of some of them. So, kept them. Um, but yeah, no, uh, this was exciting. Uh, this was fun to do. I've never done an unhaul thing before. Um, not much has really changed since I last talked about the chain. Um, she failed in an attempt to kidnap a kid. She kind of like... I don't want to say chickened out, but like started second guessing a lot of stuff, and so she didn't do it. And where are you at? Show us. I am on chapter nineteen. I've got about three hours and forty something minutes left, so I've knocked out about an hour or so just by doing my shelves. So exciting times. Um, but yeah, no, this was exciting. I've never done like an unhaulish type sort of video even though I didn't really show you the books. Yeah, he didn't unhauled. know what it was before I said well, I was yeah. doing an unhaul of my stuff. She was like, yeah, let's do an unhaul video. I'm like, what the hell is that? So, never done one. So this was exciting, even though you didn't really see every single Baby's book. first unhaul. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, so yeah, no, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Um, normally I ask you a question at the end of this video, but I don't really know what to ask you guys. Um, uh, so yeah, uh, don't forget to like, comment, What's subscribe. What's your favorite Stephen King book? 
Oh, I mean, I guess we could ask that too. Um, what's your or What's your favorite edition of a Stephen King book? That's too complicated. Well, so is math. All right, so we will see you guys in the next video. Again, check out the links down below. We'll see you guys later. Later.